Hey folks, it's mail time, and I got a week's worth of eBay pickups to share with you today. It's going to be a pretty small mail day, only four packages. First up is going to be a couple cards from a seller who had free shipping. Picked up another Mosaic Trevor Lawrence. This is just going to be the base card. Ended up getting this one for $3.48. I've been trying to buy as many as I can at $3.50. I think this is one of those cards that as the season gets going, it's going to have a little bit of room to grow. I think ideally you're looking at Justin Herbert prices, which are still right around $10 for his mosaic base. But I think this is going to make, after today, probably about seven or eight of these that I've picked up. Then also from the same seller was going to be a Jamar Chase Optic. I ended up getting this one for $3. Not really a great deal. I don't think you can go wrong on something like this. They normally sell for about $5, but I just don't have a whole lot of Jamar Chase stuff. But I thought that was a pretty solid deal for both of those from the same seller. Next up is going to be a couple cards that I got just in time. Hard Knocks just had its first episode this week, so I couldn't be happier to get the Sauce Gardener PSA 9 Green Prism. Very cool Jets color match. Very solid card. Uh, I'm kind of wondering how this didn't get a 10. It's centered. Surface looked good. This was actually $25 plus $5 shipping, putting this at $30 total, which, believe it or not, was $10 less than the next closest buy it now available. We'll see if this gets the hard knocks bump. If not, this is something that I wouldn't mind hanging on to for my personal collection. I know a lot of defensive players don't hold value long term. Unless it's a pass rusher like Aaron Donald or TJ Watt. But I think Sauce could be a little bit different. Very cool card, and we'll see if I end up flipping that or not. I, it won't hurt my feelings if I keep this one. And we got another Sauce Gardener. It was just going to be the Prism Red, White, and Blue. Just a little bit more inexpensive parallel. $4.80 for that one isn't too bad. Then this last package is a group of five cards that I put together for $15.50. So for this one, I ended up finding these on one of my save searches. It was for the Mac Jones, and he had it listed at a really low price, except it was $5 shipping. So I asked the seller if he combined shipping, and he said, yeah, 50 cents a card. When I went to do the buy it now, it actually asked for immediate payment for each card. So that would mean that we had the price of the card, as well as an extra $5. So for five cards, that meant $25 for shipping. And I tried adding everything to the cart, and it didn't actually do the selling discount as well. I talked to the seller and figured out he turned on the eBay setting, which was immediate payment when buyer uses buy it now. The seller turned off that setting for these five cards, and I was able to complete my purchase. Ended up getting a Mac Jones Prism Base. A Trevor Lawrence Phoenix base. Another Trevor Lawrence Mosaic rookie. An Optic Josh Giddy. It'll be a second year card. Numbered out of 199. And a card that I'm surprised isn't selling for a little bit more right now. It's going to be a Jamal Murray select rookie. If there's one piece of advice I could give you guys, it's to make sure that that setting is turned off for your low-end sports cards. I think it's great if you're doing a lot of, you know, like $100 slabs to make sure you get paid right away. But you really want to encourage people to buy multiple items from you. Especially when it's a stack of cards where I think I spent more on shipping than the actual cards themselves. Also, too, I definitely encourage people to make sure that you have the appropriate shipping costs set up. I think $5 plus a combined shipping rate is great if you're selling at a really high volume, if you're like a Burbank sports cards or something like that. But a lot of times if I'm just scrolling through eBay and I see something like this, you know, like a Mac Jones for $1 and it's $5 shipping, I'm usually just going to skip right by that. But folks, that is everything I picked up on eBay this past week. If you haven't already done so, make sure you go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.